The man who admitted to killing five people at the Capitol Gazette almost three years ago was back in court today. Jury selection for the second phase of Jared Ramos' trial is underway. WJZ's Live, Avadro Burnett has been in court all day. Avadro, what can you tell us about this jury selection process? Well, Vic, I could tell you it's going to be a really long one. There are about 300 potential jurors in the court. They will have to narrow it down to about a dozen people along with the alternates. And remember, this is a really high-profile case. We spoke with a legal expert earlier today, and he said it's going to be really hard to find people who could block out all of the noise and focus on the facts. Nearly three years after the Capitol Gazette mass shooting that rocked the Annapolis community and the country, jury selection for the second phase of the trial against Jared Ramos, the convicted killer, started today. Law professor David Jaro said this is all about finding jurors who will block out any outside influences. This is a chance for both the judge and both sides, prosecutors and defense, to hear from the jurors and find out if there's something about the jurors' assumptions or history that will make it difficult for them to do that. The judge asked jurors about 40 questions. Do they have strong feelings about guns or mass shootings or even if they know anyone affiliated with the case? Professor Jaro said the constant media coverage will be a challenge for the court. It's not an easy task. That's why the judge has called so many jurors for this particular trial. This is not the average jury pool. Ramos has already pleaded guilty to killing Gerald Fishman, Rob Hyacin, John McNamara, Rebecca Smith, and Wendy Winter at the Capitol Gazette. But this phase of the case will determine if he's criminally responsible. That's Maryland's version of an insanity case. Ramos sat silently in court and watched the potential jurors, including one woman who told the judge she can't put her bias aside because Ramos already said he's guilty and that, in her opinion, he's guilty and should not hide behind mental illness. The judge excused that woman from the jury pool, and he did the same for several others. At the same time, it's important to, re important to remember that we're not looking for jurors who have never heard about this case, rather for jurors who are willing to have no preconceived notions about what happened and enter willing to base their decisions solely on what they hear in the court. And the trial, it is set to start next week, Tuesday. That is one day after the three-year anniversary of that mass shooting here in Annapolis. Day number two of jury selection that starts tomorrow. Live tonight in Annapolis, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.